Hey you, welcome to the I Feel You podcast presented by Project Feel. I am your host, Eddie Wise, and this is season two. As most of you may know, we do two versions of this podcast. There's audio, so you find that on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google, everywhere podcasts are found. And we also have very special visual versions on our YouTube. If you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing to our Patreon. You get some pretty cool perks, such as getting these episodes two weeks early. So again, thank you so much for watching and enjoy the episode. I am here with Jessica Swindle. Mm -hmm. That's how you pronounce your last name, yes, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Um, I'm your host, Eddie Wise. And uh, this, uh, like I said, is Jessica. She's a self-taught artist. She, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Self-taught artist based in Brooklyn, New York. Her colorful, abstract, surrealist paintings reference universal concepts about God, love, death, and the use of psychedelics. Yeah, the best part. <laughs> Very exciting. Um, I love everything about that. Um, I met you at Fear. Yeah. Which was an event that we had last year. It was our most recent event. And it was a beautiful um, gallery where we had uh, some wonderful artists. And then we also had spoken word artists as well mm -hmm. perform there. Yeah, um, lots of things. NFTs. Yeah, it was actually there. so cool. Yeah. So fun. Shout out to Door Door Gallery for that one. Yes. And uh, so how did you, I guess the first question would be, how did you uh, meet Project Feel? Like what, where, how, is, how is this happening right now today? Like what, what was the I circumstance? Yeah, I know. The ways that we're all so intricately connected mm -hmm. are so amazing. Um, and with like a lot of the magical connections in my life, like this one, it's been mm -hmm. super serendipitous. Um, I had Anthony reach out to me a couple, like, I think years ago, like maybe two wow. years ago oh, man. for some type of show or collaboration. And, um, I just like, was kind of just getting started in New York and mm -hmm. still to this day am like kind of, um, like have have to be pulled in like a cat and mouse game to get yes, me to do like sure. <laughs> yeah. um I so that. yeah i like didn't i mean i like followed him was super mm -hmm. interested in the content but just didn't end up doing a show and then he reached out to me again and i was just so, so cool. impressed with like what i saw mm -hmm. through coming through project feel um and yeah i felt like super called to jump on board also because the um invitation i just felt like super supported like mm -hmm. he offered to just make the process super smooth yeah and easy for me. So yeah, mainly through Anthony, but also through seeing mm -hmm. all the amazing artists that are in Project Feel as a whole. Nice. Yeah. That's really cool. And that's also really cool to hear because um, it it's some, we don't always get that outside perspective of somebody who just joined from like this time because a lot of the people that we have now are, you know, they've been with us for a little while. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's really, yeah, it's really awesome to hear that. So, uh, yeah, that's so cool. appreciate the compliments. We... Mm -hmm thought of you again because we do truly love your art it's you. incredible um we continue to go back to it whenever we do think of artists and um just know that you are it always in conversations now if we're ever going to do an event again or if we have some special like a uh, uh, you know um project that we want to do you're definitely going to be in our in our in our headspace for Thank sure you. i so appreciate that it's yeah, an honor for, sure. for me honestly i, I yeah Trust me, it's an honor for us, Marcel. <laughs> um, so t speaking about your art, mm. um, you there's a lot of, uh, in that little bio, um, you speak on um, a lot of very big topics. There's yeah. a lot of broad <laughs> topics that can involve a lot for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, I would love to hear what, what uh, about those things, um, what's usually... Like, how do you approach those? What's your perspective when it comes to, you know, you said God, love, death, mm. um, and the use of psychedelics. What's your perspective on all of those things? Mm. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. I love how you brought up that they're definitely really, like, broad and, like, big subjects. Mm -hmm. um, to me, I really love painting about stuff like that because yeah. it feels really accessible. Mm. Um, and kind of like my goal in approaching it is to make it something that everyone can understand or yeah. maybe approach in their own way. Um, mm -hmm. but regardless, I like these topics because they're things that we can all feel and experience. Yes. And to me, that feels like the juice of life. Mm. Um, so <laughs> before when I first started painting That's about great. this kind of stuff, um, it was a lot of like processing and a little bit like darker. And, mm. um, I feel like when, once you jump into more spiritual stuff, it can definitely take time to like work through whatever, like kind of go through. True. There's a lot going on in there. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh-huh. Can be <laughs> <laughs> layered. <laughs> yeah. um, but lately I've gotten more so into like a celebration, um, mm. like just enjoying 
the enjoying the spaces like of spirituality and in God and being able to rest in it rather than like just feeling overwhelmed by it. Interesting. I love yeah. that. I um, come from a, a Christian background. Mm. So my parents were pastors for a long time. Oh, and no yeah, so when I I have when I so which is why I asked your perspective, because like I when I think of when I read those things one, one after the other, I think of a lot. Right. I have a lot in my head um, because of my really rich history with specifically God and very specifically as of late death. Mm. Um, such a it's a it's a weird relationship. Um, mm. And I always find it really fascinating when somebody else has a different perspective that comes from a different you know walk of life. Mm -hmm. um, so where did you like what's your origin? Where did you come from? Mm, like, very similar. Yeah. yeah super religious as mm. well. Do you still carry that with you or is that not? It's, it's, it's very, um, subconsciously. I, I, I carry a lot of the, the moral weight that was given to me. Mm. Um, like I, 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 I do believe that what we do, um, in this life, um, it means a lot and it does translate in a lot of ways past us, like you know, mm. even after death, but now it's not more so about what's going to happen to me after death. It's what's going to happen to the people around me after I die. Uh, yeah. um, it's more so about that than anything else. I, it kind of just shifted to the other side because, mm. man, growing I, I'm sure you experienced this too, but growing up Christian, you just like every day is like, oh, I don't want to go to hell. Like, oh my God, yeah. this is so much a lot to worry about, pressure. You know? Like, yeah. I don't, I can't do, I can't even like say a bad word mm. because if I die in this instant after saying a bad word, I feel like mm. I'm going to go to hell. You know what I'm saying? There's, wow, yeah. there's a lot what of, a wait. That's more, a great it's a really, it, yeah. there's a lot of, 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 pressure that that is applied there mm. and it was applied to me from a very young age mm. um mm -hmm. so yeah totally, that's but yeah. it sounds like for you it's kind of transformed where you can just take yeah, the goal exactly. mm -hmm. and not mm -hmm. like yeah let it wait are you, so, you i'm assuming you're still kind of spiritual is it I'm in that way or yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah um I was super religious growing up until I was nice. like 13 or 14 okay um and curious then, years yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, also my parents, um, my grandfather was a pastor too. Really? Yeah. Nice. That's awesome. Um, yeah, we're unfortunate. <laughs> <But laughs> <True. laughs> he wrote like all these like books and that was wow, just a really? part of our life was like, so the like church. in it, in it, in it. yeah, yeah deep. Uh -huh. Um, and so my, my dad ended up getting really sick and my mm. mom also had a lot of like mental health problems. Oh no. Okay. And, um, plant medicine was just hugely helpful for them really? through that wow, yeah fascinating shockingly. okay <laughs> that's really cool yeah um, that's really cool and that obviously like the church is highly against that stuff but it was so mm. helpful for them that that was kind of like um like a the, just the first thing that started like changing yeah it, it, it's kind of like a chain reaction a little yeah. bit and it kind of started the trend exactly okay. okay yeah that's really cool um and so from there we left the church but now i'm still super spiritual it's good um, yeah i find that it doesn't like fully leave you even after you decide to mm -hmm. part from that um congregation um mm -hmm. do you have like so one thing that i realized that for a lot of um i, I don't want to say former christians but like people who came out of christianity um and found something else or maybe adapted their christianity into something else um i find that um the lack of congregation the lack of like gatherings mm. is something that is pretty difficult do you still have yeah. like a a unit that you kind of congregate with that that mm. can feed your spirituality and like you know uh, support you do you totally have that? yeah yeah i love that you bring that up mm. um i've been thinking about this concept lately of sangha that mm. is what they call it in, in Buddhism, which is like your community that yeah. supports your practice. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Um, and yeah, that's definitely still a part of my life. And I also, in many different ways, but I feel like that's the how we find um, successes together mm -hmm. these days, mm -hmm. much less so than it used to be much more individual. Yes, um, nuclear family. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Have you heard that term? Yeah, totally. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. a big topic nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's high, it's dissolving for sure. Yeah. And I love that. I'm super excited mm -hmm. that we're moving towards a more like sustainable community existence. Yes. Um, but I mainly find that through dance, actually. Mm. Um, yeah, nice. I used to do uh, kind of a spiritual movement practice called Five Rhythms. Five Rhythms, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Highly recommend it. <laughs> Tried it. <laughs> so I, know, I don't know. I have, have never heard of that. That's really cool. Mm, but do you like good. to dance? Yeah, I love dancing. I, I, uh -huh. Background in musical theater is where I like started. Cool. So dancing okay, was like yeah. something I found later in life that Essential. was really fun. Yeah, yeah, and if you're around music, you're going to be mm -hmm. getting down at some point. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. 
um so five rhythms is like <laughs> definitely a, a uh a lot of like movement a lot of dancing but okay. it's super accepting mm. um kind of different from like club atmosphere it's more <laughs> yeah. so for like working through trauma and <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> whatever good. yeah um, uh, the, the club atmosphere is definitely there's def there's different intentions there so yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. both are valid yeah, yeah, for um, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i did that for a while and now i dance with a community in um gaga which mm -hmm. isn't lady gaga related um oh. <laughs> but i didn't even yeah yeah yeah, yeah for i sure. know it's kind of like instantly goes there for me <laughs> that's Fun. Um, but it's a, it's kind of spiritual, but um, Five Rhythms was so heavy. Mm. I'm just so much more in the state now of celebration, like I was talking about earlier. That's beautiful. And um, Gaga is a lot about lightness and pleasure and mm. enjoyment. So yeah, that's awesome. Community. That sounds so um, open and freeing. That sounds incredible. Mm, I think yeah. everybody needs that because we we like you mentioned the club atmosphere, but we oftentimes enter those spaces that are a little more restrictive. And like I said, intentions kind of mold what those spaces are mm -hmm. um and how you react in those spaces mm. so i think that's why that's why I, I think about congregation and i'm glad you do have a space to like be free like that because i find that's sorely missing in a lot of um younger in a lot of our generation because we're kind of like trying to separate ourselves from like religion and and like mm. specifically um dogma and like you know that kind of theology and stuff so but that's what we're missing is like the congress that's what project yeah, feel is to me is like being able to gather with people on uh, the weekly and sometimes on the daily mm. and like support each other and like and yeah. do stuff like that so yeah it keeps you in touch with your with your true path where for you sure be yeah exactly no. um mm. and i love yeah, how you brought sure. up intention too like mm. what intention you bring into that space i feel like when we know what we want we usually get it yeah um <laughs> And to bring that like power in group, especially is highly powerful. I yeah. um, am in this new moon uh, group thing. It's mm. like a life coaching, whatever, mm. like group okay. of us that celebrate mm -hmm. the new moon. And the my friend who leads it was talking about there was a study done apparently where if uh, eight or nine and somewhere around there or more mm -hmm. people share their intention together mm. it had like a 30 percent or something higher chance of coming true wow. than if they just like kept it to themselves oh my just gosh the doing it in community Ugh. i want to tell everybody what i'm trying to do you know like, that resonates share that so deeply yeah. yeah oh my gosh i've experienced that countless times with this group of people um mm. with many groups but like yeah that's that oh that i don't we won't have to talk about it now, but maybe I'll tell you after, but like that resonates deeper than I think you oh, might, no. you might know. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'll definitely that share that with you because, oh my gosh, yeah. it's so cool. It's so <laughs> great to hear that because that just like totally corresponds with ex everything I believe. So, wow, that's so dope. Um, yeah. And I feel the power too. Yeah. This project it's feel so, like it's so great. Collective, yeah. Um, your art, you, so you're, you're, you, you kind of describe yourself as uh, your art as a little more surreal. Um, if, if you, if I, yeah, yeah. Um, if I'm correct on that. The thing I've been saying lately is abstract surrealist. Ab abstract surrealist. Okay, of, cool, cool, yeah, cool. Yeah, the label. What, what draws you to that, to that? Um, I guess, like, why do you, why do you, why is that the label? I guess is mm. the question. Um, I guess with how I'm working now, mm -hmm. um, it's using like real things like portraits mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. animals, a lot of animals lately. Um, but not necessarily putting them in like a realistic, like picture yeah, yeah, for sure. context. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, kind of surreal mm -hmm. in that way. And I just like, I love that as a tool for painting, um, to like take, uh, things that I see around me, mm -hmm. um, but to have the creative freedom to use them how I want to. Yes. Um, I've also been doing yes. a lot of projecting, mm, um, like using a, a projector onto the canvas yeah. and kind of collaging different images um, oh, that's super cool yeah it's nice to start with like the bones mm. of something real mm. and then turn it into something playful. yeah that's so cool i have a, a friend who or a cousin actually who does something similar he takes like a uh, action figures or like a uh, mm. really old school action figures and he like poses them like he takes fo he does a photo shoot with them and he puts them in really weird places mm. and then he paints them in a surreal kind of light um and it's really dramatic and like Oh. so i i he poses them and he paints them like yeah it's it's similar so it's kind of like projection <laughs> in a way but yeah it's really cool. cool it's really cool I love um it. yeah that um makes me think of this photographer who like dresses up um fully in like like crazy gear like we'll do yeah the whole like abraham lincoln outfit or something <laughs> um and takes pictures his name is kither joseph kither. Really good. Yeah. that's really cool mm -hmm. um what what it, what was the origin of your art like where did you start like what was the mm. thing that brought you to i guess painting and 
and the, what you do yeah totally yeah um pretty layered i mean part of it mm-hmm. started really early um, my dad was an audio engineer um and so i spent a lot mm. of time around music and in church choir and yes, yeah. playing piano mm-hmm. and stuff like that okay, yep. um you play piano a little, a little bit yeah. nice okay cool <laughs> <laughs> you play piano that's all yeah, yeah, yeah. um it's cool. yeah I can play about as much pan- piano as I can speak Spanish, I would say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> That's great, too. Though. That's awesome. <laughs> um, but from there, um, I actually did a little bit of theater, too, in junior nice, high. Let's go. Just, like, played around with different mediums. Mm-hmm. Um, and, yeah, when I was... Uh, so, yeah, from, from there, I actually got into photography. It was a big thing for me. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was in yearbook, and I just, like was super about like going to all the games and taking photos whatever it was like i love the camera <laughs> i love that's so cool yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah it's a cool way to like connect with people mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sure you can understand that for sure um and <laughs> this uh person who i just felt so inspired by like i just mm. kind of idolized him in a way mm. um he was like one of the only open gay people in my school in texas and i was like that wow was so badass like, <laughs> it's he was a big super deal, good yeah. at photography yeah so cool um and he took me when i was like i must have been uh 14 to my first um art gallery and i'd Ooh, literally wow. never oh kind of like a, can't imagine some shade to my parents on this one but yeah. <laughs> i've never been to an art gallery or experienced paintings and i just oh like oh my gosh as soon as i experienced that that was it like painting just kind of took over from there i can't imagine I, yeah. we, I, re- we relate on a lot of levels, mm. um, is what I'm realizing that. now. Mm. I, so, cause that, that was the same way I felt about art. My, my parents didn't really show me much of that world because they weren't in it, you know? And, mm. um, I didn't know what musical theater was at all Ooh, until crazy. I saw it for the first time on stage. Mm. Um, I knew, I kind of vaguely, I've heard about Broadway before and then there was like plays or whatever. But that was the extent. Like, I didn't know much mm. past that. And then I saw, wow. I think it was In the Heights. I saw on stage, and I was like, what the fuck? In Washington Heights? No, uh, In the Heights. <laughs> um, oh, it's a play. Yeah, the musical. You. you know the musical? Mm-mm. Oh, my Not gosh. Yet. It's it's great. Um, they just made a movie a bit about it. Um, but it was in, it's called In the Heights. Um, it takes place in Washington Heights. Mm. And it's about um, these this group of... of, of um, the, the It's about the Hispanic community there that was living through um a lot they're going through a blackout they're going through somebody won the lottery in that community so there it was mm. about that stuff um and it's it's latin music hip-hop break dancing it was like it's like everything that That's i was sick. into at the time mm. so hip-hop on stage and i was like what the f-? and it was a where bunch of kids it? that looked like me and that's where i met franco and joe actually oh, that's sick. franco oh, was God. the lead um and wow. i saw it and i was like what the f- what is this yeah. and why am i not in it you know <laughs> um and mm. from there, it was a, a similar feeling, I'm assuming, where it's like that the moment captured me so deeply. And I finally found something that was like, this is wow, this is like mm. this is going to stick with me forever. Totally, you know, yeah. like I'm always going to be doing this. Um, wow, that's so amazing. And the fact also that you met people who brought you and kept you yeah. in it, you know, mm-hmm, super divine. Mm-hmm. It's it was incredible. And I'm here because of it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, um, yeah. So I, I can't imagine things like yeah. that, man. Like what if we just hadn't decided to exactly go to the like that, that, that our gallery trip yeah. must have been uh, uh, just so deeply like it, I just can't I can feel it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I can feel that moment for you. Same. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. So that's really cool. I'm glad he took you. Tell, tell I'm glad me he took you to that it's art crazy, gallery. Yeah. It's really and cool. he ended up moving to New York too. Oh my gosh, that's I great. Know, yeah, it's crazy <laughs> shit like that. It's New York, man. It's New York. I know, I know. Um, New York or nowhere. So one thing that um I find is becoming more and more a part of the conversation in a lot of a lot more mainstream ways and a lot more um, and in a lot of healthier ways is psychedelics. Mm-hmm. Um I mean, uh, yeah. Tell me your relationship with that. Mm-hmm. I just want to know. Yeah, <laughs> I'm curious. Right yeah, 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 for sure. Um, yeah. Well, like I said, plant medicine was really helpful for my mm-hmm. parents with their mm-hmm. mental health, mm-hmm. and I'm super lucky to have had like a kind of a, a shameless, like, clean introduction to mm. that kind of stuff. Um, I had a super intense experience when I was 18 on DMT. Oh my gosh. Um, where I thought okay. it was going to be nothing. Like it was going to yeah. be light. Oh my God. I was wrong. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, ever since then have, um, just felt super mm-hmm. called and affected mm-hmm. and like just a relationship with 
um, the other side or whatever you want to call <laughs> yeah, that no, in a much different you. way yeah, than I have before. Wow. Um, and like on a bigger picture scale, I still like to do, you know, like big trips every once in a while. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. microdosing, I feel like, is really... Ooh the juice yes yeah yes uh-huh. yeah i'm yeah. for all of it yeah, yeah me too. that's that's awesome yeah i really feel like it's we're on the cusp of it being um like the future mm-hmm. it, the therapeutic purposes yeah are, yeah are really are really um there's a, so much potential there and it's a shame that it was so stifled but um mm. and it's much needed like with oh where we're gosh. at as yeah 100 percent right yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I can't imagine I've never done DMT. Mm. I've heard of crazy stories. Mm. I can't imagine going into it thinking this is going to be cool, right? I know, I know, this is going to yeah. be super, like, you know, <laughs> f- like, because I've heard of people, g- like, getting, actually just getting, uh, riding a rocket out of their heads, like, literally into the mm. sky and being and feeling like they're in that oh. trip for years when they've only been in it for, like, a few minutes. Yeah. Um, oh, that sounds I, terrifying. I, I actually can't even, like, that sounds like mm. a, a, a. I don't want to say anything too negative. It sounds terrifying <laughs> to me. It sounds. It <laughs> sounds so. It sounds like. Oof! It sounds terrifying. Yeah, yeah. But also super um, exciting and like really. What was your experience? Was it just like? Was it kind of chill or was it like no, 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 insane? It was definitely insane. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was it was insane. Not in like a like I'm seeing ten thousand yeah. things or whatever. It was um it was just like de- like dying like death. Like wow. I forgot oh, everything. The, the, yeah. Completely. Oh my god. That's it was just the thing. Like, um, one with Ooh. whatever everything is. Yeah. And it was interesting though because oh when I looked back on that, I was like, that sounds terrifying, and I don't want to do that. Yeah. But when I was in it, it felt really safe. Oh and, my gosh. Um, connected. I just read a story yesterday mm. about a, a person who, uh, died. Um, when they were like 12 or something like that, um, on like a cricket field, super odd, but they spoke of that, spoke of that feeling, the the, the death feeling, like they just felt like incredibly safe. Like, like if they could stay there, they probably would have, like if they had the choice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Jesus Christ. I can't even like, oh (laughs) yeah. (laughs) But what was also cool was mm-hmm. coming out of that. Like yeah. after I died, I obviously came back into my For being sure. mm-hmm. and I slowly like remembered everything, like the little things oh like banana God. bread or my parents or like even mm-hmm. just like my physical body or what it's like to walk. Um, uh, and like just the fucking <laughs> yum. Like I love it. <laughs> it's also tearing up a little a bit. Blessing. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And ever since then I have a much, higher like value for mm, like can't imagine um, yeah, can't imagine yeah. have you done like larger experiences even if it's not like total dropout yeah, i haven't um i've only done i microdosed one time with acid oh interesting yeah mm. and then i took a tab one time and mm. that was the um that's the most I've done with anything psychedelic. And That's it's very cool. baseline, super normal. I just wanted to see what it felt like. That's nice, yeah. Um, it was a beautiful experience. I did it in a really healthy environment. So I was with uh, Christine. Um, and you remember Christine? Your she partner? was, yeah. I mm. uh, did it with Christine. And um, we were at her house. And her house is like a really beautiful place with a lot of creative freedom. So it was nice to, um, it, I found that really is just um, that experience for me was just, I was just seeing everything I knew but just in a different light completely Mm. um seeing more colors that I than I um knew were there or that I ever looked for and things the physical world would could transform like my brain could translate things much much different like Mm. things are much more free so like if I saw something it was that thing but it was also could be anything it could also be anything else Mm. um like one point there was like bars and I was looking at it from a different angle than I ever have. I just, for some reason started sitting there and it was like, it turned into so many different things. One of them being like one that was like, it looked like portals to like other worlds. Right. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I was just like accessing them in brief periods of time, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. Um, What do you take with you from that? Any, if anything, um, that there's much more, you have much more creative freedom with the world around you than, than, um, (laughs) you might think, um, Mm -hmm. specifically with the physical objects in your area, um, and what's already there. So I'm a person and just to make this brief, I'm someone who likes really drastic change. 
I like to shift things really dry. Like I'll cut my hair off. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'll just chop it off. Mm-hmm. Um, or I moved to a different state. Like I moved here. Um, I like drastic change. It makes me feel like invigorated. And that was like a drastic change that happened without me having to like really actually uh, change anything about the world around me. The, mm. the change was natural and I let it happen. Um, and my brain made it happen. Mm-hmm. You know, it was just my, my brain. So, um, mm. yeah, that's yeah. the the power I feel mm-hmm. like of this kind of medicine. It just like, it, it is, it's a drastic shift. Yeah. It's like instantly literally it really in is. your brain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Helps you see the world differently. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Speak on, uh, I guess, a question I would have for you is like, because it seems like you, you, a lot of your, um, a lot of what you talk about is there's mental health is a really big part of that, mm-hmm. um, which I love. It's, it's very important. Um, what's the like? What's what's the? Uh, uh, I guess what's your current relationship between like medicine, the, the, like the plant medicine, and like your mental health? Like, is there like a mm-hmm. a strong correlation? Do you do it often, or is it like once in a while when you need it? Like, what's mm-hmm. the? Because I, I I'm assuming most people that are watching, you, I, me personally, I don't really know much about the real world applications of like those kinds of medicines you know yeah yeah it definitely isn't really talked about for sure yeah. which you know for a reason that makes sense <laughs> yeah i mean yeah, yes. <laughs> but i feel like i don't know we're um we're coming to a place where it's just way more accessible and mm-hmm. um more like realistic i don't know to be like talking about it as a real thing mm. um because it's mm. happening um but yeah for me personally i definitely use it as a tool for for creativity like pretty regularly Mm. um and but i mean i feel like there are also other ways that you can access the same space if you don't necessarily want to use plant medicine um Hmm. like meditation for me is just as much as much of a daily tool as i would consider like microdosing Mm -hmm. um or dance or yoga Mm -hmm. or all of that Mm -hmm. um I actually am kind of craving a bigger experience kind of soon though. Mm, nice. Um, yeah. So that might, mm, exciting. <laughs> that might happen. Yeah. Exciting. Maybe, um, uh, something like a sweat lodge. Oh my gosh. I've heard of those. Yeah. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a really, really big experience, huh? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I Do could you, use it though. I need yeah, like, a sweat. For you know sure. I mean, I went to a, a spa recently and Which I went one? to, um, it was, no, no, it was in, uh, okay. Jersey mm. and, um, they have the i think they all do have this but it was my first spa i've never been to one before mm-hmm. um but they have the one that's like this is the extreme heat mm. this is where you really <laughs> sweat sweat yeah. and that was so fun for me like just mm. being super hot extreme and just guy, like huh like yeah just like <laughs> I, know, I know wet yeah, oh my god <laughs> it's so it's it, it was just such it's a so good for great you. feeling yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, you can um, really purge um yeah. and that's what i feel like is God, it really goes back to what you were talking about, like the um, shift in perspective. Like that's what this shit is good mm, for to kind of get mm-hmm. you out of like patterns and, mm. and mental ruts that we get in, which is super mm. common, I feel like, in creatives especially. Yes. Like we get comfortable mm-hmm. um, and mm-hmm. it's really helpful to break yeah. out of that. And you know what I realized too is like there's um, when you're super comfortable and I guess if maybe this will help people that are listening, if you're super comfortable when you experience things like going outside in 30 degree 20 degree weather it is really bothersome Mm. and it hurts it's painful like you hate going outside you don't want to go anywhere Mm -hmm. but when you have an experience that shifts you like when i went to the super super hot sauna i would come out and there's like the cold one you go in there and it's like freezing cold but it feels incredible Mm -hmm. and now that when now when i go outside um i find it it's so easy to just go outside and just walk you know what i'm saying and go to work and like um, do anything and then I'm, I'm excited for the summer because I can't wait to just be outside and be hot as shit like just sweating you know <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying totally. like it's gonna be so it, it shifts mm. your perspective and when you're not when you're when you're good with being com- uncomfortable and you make it something that mm. benefits you yeah. you can deal with that weather you know what I'm saying <laughs> Totally, yeah. A lot of us don't. I've heard this concept recently that we don't know how to suffer, mm. and that brings us more yeah. suffering. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. That's yeah. so. That's that's exactly what. The, thank you for articulating mm. that. Yeah, that's that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. If we can yeah. like know how to just like breathe through it and yes. get yeah. Actually, there's enjoyment in it too. Mm. I'm noticing yeah. suffering and pain more, yes. so it's just like sensation mm-hmm. lately. That's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, my gosh, nice. it makes you. It, it gives you a little more. Um, I guess it just it, it preps you for challenges. I think a little more. Uh, mm, yeah, totally. A, a little, it's it's an easier prep time. It doesn't make it easier. Mm, I don't. Mm-hmm. Th- well, it may it may it might make it a little easier, but things are still difficult. You know, life is still 
card, I guess. Oh, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, yeah. So, it's not going to change like the what it is. It's just yeah. how you like move through it. How you go through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. um, Beautiful. In this uh, work that I've been creating recently, it's been a lot about oh. um, that concept of acceptance because mm. um, life inherently carries a lot of pain and suffering. Yeah. And um, especially when I've been painting about death, mm-hmm. um, death in- inherently like ends up bringing life like in this one painting i recently did it's two lions mm-hmm. eating a zebra and they're fucking stoked like they're getting they're like hi yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the zebra's obviously kind of in pain oh my gosh um oh yeah i had a project field yeah i sure. remember the zebras yeah yeah and all mm-hmm. the alphabet with different i'm emotions. thinking about it in my head yeah it's like um we need that stuff mm. like not only like do we have to learn how to handle it but it's part of like what makes the picture beautiful you know oh my gosh really, like adds to life the contrast that's so beautiful mm. oh my god i love stuff like that it it's so good so calm yeah <laughs> oh my god it feels great i feel a lot of emotions um because mm. it's just so it resonates so deeply um mm. and i feel like a lot of this is something i actually thought about today and i appreciate this um so thank you for for um telling me about your art because i feel like a lot of it nowadays what i see on the internet is a little it's a, it's really self-indulgent um mm. a lot of the art that i'm seeing which isn't a bad thing always um it's th- a lot of your art has to be about you a lot of the time mm-hmm. um if you're making music you, you make you make music about things that you relate to right um mm-hmm. things that happen to you you when you create art sometimes it's even you like it's it could be your own portrait but it's really refreshing to see things that are just about everything, mm. you know, and things that aren't just like I'm looking at the art and the artists can be um, a part of this or can be separate from this. And mm. it's still its own thing. You know, yeah. I don't have to know about that artist to know what they might be trying to say in this piece. Mm. Um, and it's it's I feel like when you speak on things like 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 death, like you said, it's a beautiful picture because it is that that's, that's what needs to happen. But it's such a very, it's a very like um, conflicting thing because it's such a, it's a tragedy in some ways, but it's also just, it's mm. beautiful. It's a circle of life. It's like what happens. Yeah, totally. Um, we all feel it. Yeah, for sure. Mm. And so uh, I appreciate you for being so selfless with your art as well. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. And that course. actually, like, as you're speaking that, mm. I'm realizing that that is super important to me. Like, mm-hmm. I want my work to feel less of mm-hmm. like it's just my own and mm. especially nowadays like when i first started painting it was all about that like it has yeah I mean, you feel like it kind of yeah. has to be at sometimes yeah mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. there's sup- there's a lot of value to yeah, that and sure. i've been like there's some of my favorite artists are like mm-hmm. all about themselves <laughs> yeah no, it but, makes sense yeah <laughs> no it, that's why i'm saying there's a place for it you know there's mm-hmm. there is a, a, a it is so fascinating it's the human condition so to see someone's struggles is like mm. you know that's yeah it's going to yeah. be relatable no matter what for sure yeah. yeah but i definitely am enjoying this new mm. process of yeah, just writing about or painting about stuff. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love the slip up there. That's a that's a good one. I like that. Um, so we um, th- one thing that you do pretty often, it seems like, is you do murals at certain locations. You did one, I think, mm-hmm. in January, right? Recently, I you did, did one. Yeah, uh-huh. uh, it was beautiful. Thank I loved you. it. Um, talk about that. What's that experience like going somewhere, having somebody somebody ask you like, "Hey, can you just?" like this is a canvas right here mm. do this thing yeah do, do whatever you want right <laughs> like why does that feel what's the what's your relationship with like mm. murals and stuff yeah that's a great question i mm. love murals murals are super particular they're mm. definitely different than mm-hmm. they're all different like yeah. making jackets making like murals paintings i love your jackets thank you yeah yes. they're they're and they're all super unique from each other mm. mm-hmm. um each of those mediums um murals i definitely the first thing that comes to mind is they're pretty backbreaking. oh um, my god i can't yeah, i see people yeah. like on the floor for like hours where, like oh my god i can't <laughs> exactly. imagine exactly yeah yeah, yeah. The, just just that alone mm-hmm. um but they're also uh like the the work you put in you you get out and like mm-hmm. an enjoyment mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. and i like as a as a painter my favorite thing is to work big um and murals are definitely an opportunity to do that but you're um, it's such like a little dance of balancing like what you want to do versus like what's the budget, the time limit, and <laughs> the, like what do they want? Like what's oh their gosh. vision for the project? What a challenge! You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's so enjoyable. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like um, it's, really cool. it's just like really playful. You mm. know, playing with. Um, I actually love people's input and hearing like what they mm. what their what their vision is, like what they want to see, what kind of energy they want to mm. bring into their space. Mm. Um, 
Yeah. So it, it's definitely a dance, the, the meal process, but I love it. I definitely uh, want to do more. Hopefully mm-hmm. this summer, like more outdoor stuff in, in Brooklyn. I can't wait for the outdoor stuff. Oh I my know. Gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. It's just such a huge part of like our, um, of this borough. You yeah. Know? 100%. Yeah. Outdoors. Um, and seeing art everywhere is very important i think Mm -hmm. it's super vital to the life of this of this uh city totally yeah and feeling it too Mm -hmm, like music mm -hmm. i love when they do the live music in uh prospect park yeah Yeah. oh my gosh yeah it's so much fun Mm -hmm. yeah yeah Mm -hmm. i um we did an event in prospect park or no we didn't we did uh we helped at an event we shot i think we did uh some uh cinematography there um but there's two events going on across from each other, like across the park. Oh. They were playing music over there. <laughs> and then Brooklyn. on our side, it was all, we were also playing music. So mm. it was like, but it wasn't competition. It felt pretty uh, reciprocal. It felt good. So mm, that's cool. it's, it's, that's literally Brooklyn. Yeah. Like the fact that the city was like, yeah, two, two different events in the same area. Yeah. Like, come let's on do over, it. No problem. <laughs> Play all the music you want. Like, yeah. Yeah, just go for it. It's super, super yeah. inviting in that, uh-huh. in that way. Uh-huh. So that's yeah, great. we're all in the same. We're so much more connected than we think we are oh my gosh yeah. you know like i'm sure if you walked mm-hmm. over there and said what's up you probably like follow the same people exactly and, yeah yep. um yeah it's really magical it's it really is and it's one of my favorite that's why i moved here you know that's like one of my yeah, favorite parts i was actually just gonna ask so, you about that do you see yourself like yeah. staying here continuing um to uh, yeah here? pretty much yeah this is definitely a home for um this is going to be a home for the rest of my life Oh, crazy. Um, yeah, you're in for it. For sure. Yeah, I'm oh, in it. Awesome. And then, mm. you know, I w- I'm definitely going to travel, of course. I think it's very important that everybody travels. Um, I'd love to stay in other locations for a certain period of time, but I f- I'm going to always find myself coming back here for mm. sure. Um, this is where, like, I built myself, you know. Mm-hmm. This is where I found myself and where I'm going to continue to build myself. Um, wow, I love that. And, yeah, yeah it's it's a beautiful pa- place. Um, and all the mm-hmm. people that I love are going to stay here too. Mm-hmm. They, that's their intentions. They've said it. And you know, life changes. You never know. Totally. You never yeah, know. Yeah. I'm saying these things now. Anything can happen. Mm-hmm. Um, but this is definitely where I'm like super, super connected to. Yeah, I feel like yeah. everything, Ugh. you know, mm-hmm. so feels good. Yeah, there's something about the energy here. Yeah. Especially yeah. as artists, you know, it just holds, oh, for sure. holds you. Mm-hmm. In your where, you where are you from? Originally from Texas, but uh, also oh, yes. Washington state. When oh, I was okay. like 13, we okay, moved cool, there. Cool, yeah. cool. Mm-hmm. So did you move <laughs> around different. a lot? Um, yeah, kind of just between the two. And then I came here when I was 18 okay. or 19. Um, on your own? On my own. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah. That's so yeah, young. It's a, <laughs> it's a young crazy. age to yeah. come alone. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I wanted to do it though. Yeah. Like you said, mm-hmm. there's just this resonance, like this place mm. feels more like home than anywhere else I've ever lived in my life. And I think that's because you can really be yourself here mm. in, in ways that you really can't in other places, you know, mm. because there's um a lot of people here doing that like yeah, just exactly. completely being authentic and it kind of gives you permission to yeah. go off which i like um <laughs> yeah but i did Beautiful. move around a lot and i definitely think i want to stay here for a minute after that's all good. that that's good yeah. that's good there's there's a um it right back to it there's it speaks to the to the intentions of the people that come here i think mm. mostly so I think because a lot of people come here to do that specifically, um, the city has cultivated an environment where that's super, super uh, uh, available, where that finding of yourself is something that is almost like demanded of you when you come here. Mm. Like coming here as a as a confident individual that knows exactly what they want to do and knows exactly how it's going to go. Um, I can't speak to what that's like, but I do have a feeling that it's, very difficult because <laughs> this city does a lot of 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 work to make sure that you have no control <laughs> in mm-hmm. a lot of ways mm-hmm. um which is super freeing um and mm-hmm. it's it's like you don't even you don't even transport yourself to places unless you ride a bike unless you um you know unless you do things like traveling like if you have a car for some reason i don't know how mm. but like a lot of the times, most people that live here don't even take themselves to their what they, where they have to go. They de- depend and rely on other people. Oh wow, yeah. A lot true. of this mm-hmm. life is a lot of New York life is depending and fully relying on a, lo- a lot of different That's people. So true. Um, and the way that, like yeah, that. yeah, in the way that you get, in, in, in most mm-hmm. places, it's just in the way that you get your food, right? And right. then like maybe your work environment, right? Mm-hmm. But here it's like your personal life Dude, depends on people. Yeah, like literally. I have roommates and I depend on them to have a shel- to have shelter. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I depend on them to um to keep the space clean as well i depend on my other friends for my art i depend on 
Um, mm. And then I also depend on the people in my work environment. Mm -hmm. um, oh, God, but isn't that so much more secure? Than, it it like, feels, it's community. Yeah, it feels uh. deeper. It feels, um, it feels like a, a, a I don't know. It just makes you feel strong, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Totally, yeah. Because that's what we are at the end of mm -hmm. the day is a network. Mm -hmm. Even though, I was thinking mm -hmm. about this day, even though our like feet aren't like stuck to the ground like roots, we still are one with this 100%. part of it. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no way to really survive as like a little <laughs> mean. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen um, Last Airbender? Mm, the show? And when I was like maybe this big. I think. Nice. Okay, <laughs> cool. They, that's one of the topics in the show is like, you know, that interconnectedness to root. I always think about that oh, episode crazy. whenever mm. somebody says that, but mm. I've heard it a lot. I'm sure you've heard it a lot too, but that, yeah. that idea of like everything being like one and connected in that way. Totally, yeah. What a joy to like welcome that into in this city and all the ways that it oh offers that. <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah. Heck uh -huh. yeah. Um, I never feel more grounded than when I'm on a subway. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I never feel more grounded because I'm mm. like, this is all happening <laughs> right fucking now, <laughs> right now, and it, I can't get away from it. There's uh, no yeah. getting away from True, it. Like, I gotta acceptance. be here. Yeah, yeah I gotta. <laughs> if I'm not here, something can go really wrong. Yeah, like yeah. you gotta be mm. there. So totally, yeah. There's That's always beautiful. a lot going on, a lot mm -hmm. to like listen to. Mm -hmm. It keeps you like in the flow. Yes, it really you know? does. Yeah, but sometimes you need a break, right? Oh, for Once sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Take, that's minutes. you were talking about meditating and mm. and the importance of that. Um, what's your favorite way to meditate? Um, probably a sound meditation, mm. like singing yes. bowl, um, and then just sitting in silence and listening mm. to like my breathing, mm. usually after yoga. But um, a lot of it for me is about just like no thoughts as much as possible yes. or just yes. observing mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. um, I've also thought about it. Meditation is like a, a way to like live life. Mm. Um, like this guy who I really like um, who passed away recently. Oh, no. Um, he was like a Buddhist teacher, mm. Thich Nhat Hanh. And he talked about how even like when we like get up and like walk somewhere, the steps that we take can be an act of meditation, like just mm. being in the moment. Yeah. Corny as hell, but I no, think it's, it's so <laughs> super valid. Yeah. So true um yeah so like taking the med meditation practice yeah. into my like daily life beautiful um yeah there's so many ways to meditate though even dancing it's, for sure oh um, my gosh yeah it's it a beautiful be, form mm -hmm. yeah getting into trance um tantra painting so many ways so many beautiful yeah. ways i i also um that's something i learned when i came here is that i thought meditation was just like you sit down and you just do nothing like mm. i always thought that that was like the point of it but it's just not it's like it's it's there's so much more to it and i found that there are so many ways in your daily life like you just said to do to do meditation mm. and i think that's something important that everybody should know is that there's like countless ways in your in the busiest life that you could live that you could still meditate mm -hmm. walking is a cool totally. one that's really cool yeah yeah, yeah. or running like it doesn't mm. have to be slow <laughs> exactly yeah true or running yeah, yeah like exactly it's like still and quiet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's 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 really beautiful mm. um yeah nurturing practices like mm. that are essential in this yes. kind of lifestyle mm -hmm. you know you've got to like balance it out because a, sure. a lot of people are working really hard and making really mm. incredible work yeah and that's like super inspiring mm -hmm. Um, but it can also cause like burnout. I think there is oh, yeah, definitely a huge. culture here of, yeah, of that. work, 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 mm -hmm. or, or you're going to fall behind. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I'm glad that, yeah, I know. I'm glad the conversation is shifting away from that now. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess for people watching, like what's your, uh, what's your biggest resource that you find that like, um, when it comes to learning, uh, those things, um, it can, it can be broad like books but like mm. you know what's, what's your like favorite resource to go to to learn more about mm. all of these like, like practices that. and yeah. stuff yeah um i've gotten really into dharma talks mm. yeah like podcasts alan watts yeah. is amazing yes parents mckenna we love them That's um awesome. but also Tich not han is a really good mm. teacher mm -hmm. um yeah any type of podcast if i can like wake up in the morning and, and hear that to like mm. get my mind mm -hmm. in it then it's to go beautiful from there. <laughs> yeah. you set yourself up man that's mm -hmm. important is setting yourself up for for your days and like for your um yeah, yeah intentions totally. again uh -huh. intentions. <laughs> do you have anything like that um i'm trying to develop that um it's it's kind of tough with my day-to-day -day, um because it like work isn't ever consistent um and mm -hmm. also um my sleep is never consistent mm -hmm. so it's it's definitely a, a discipline thing. I like discipline in that way. So I try to make it so that like I have my breakfast and like I have a yogurt, something really light, something really fruity 
um to like make my palette feel like um um I guess it's kind of like uplifting a little bit for that palette to be that way. Mm. And then to have something gra- like I love coffee. Mm. So to have something that's super groundy and earthy also with alongside that kind of f- makes me feel balanced. Oh, that's really cool. Um, mm. And then um, I uh, have, you know, acne problems. So I try to wash my face as often as I can. Mm, me too. And then, yeah. And then um, uh, it's, it it kind of varies, but typically I like to, I listen to a lot of podcasts as well. And a lot of, um, it's mostly, it's mostly like current events, breaking news, um, the things that are going on in the world. And then also like debates and stuff. I watch a lot of debates on certain topics. A lot of like, um, um, I watch a lot of, a lot of that stuff. So mm. I've tried to, I'm trying to build one now, but it's, it's hard. It's not easy, mm-hmm. you know? Totally. Yeah. But yeah. I love how, what you spoke on in the beginning, like mm-hmm. sometimes it's just about like listening to what feels good for your body. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. What feels like right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Do you have yeah. a morning, you have a morning routine? I'm mm-hmm. assuming? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Um, I'm similar though. And that work mm-hmm. is unpredictable mm-hmm. and you never know. Which yeah, is for fine. sure. Yeah. So I don't like hold it tightly. But um, I like to do yoga and meditate in the morning. Ugh, yoga. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I have um, matcha every morning. Nice. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. My thing. <laughs> With, um, lion's mane mushrooms in it. Ooh, lion's yeah, I've never yeah. heard of those. What? You never heard of those? Yeah. We gotta get I don't you know what that is. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> mushrooms are a foreign world to me. Oh, crazy. Yeah. Mm, yeah. They're a beautiful world for mm. sure. Um, mm. Lion's mane is just like good for the brain. Nice. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. Okay. Yoga, meditation, and, and matcha. That's beautiful. Special. I love that. Mm-hmm. That's great. Yeah. Um, it's good for creative flow. That's, that's true. Mm-hmm. Um, so one thing I will say, um, I, Christine told me to tell you this, but she's been following you for years okay, and wow. she's really excited that you're, you got to, that we got to work with you and that you're going to be on this podcast as well. Oh, that's so so she just wanted me to let you oh, know that she's you. like a big, she's a huge fan of oh, yours. That's really kind. Um, yeah, she also told me that, you know, just to just to give, you know, a little bit of clout for, for Jessica here, you had, um I think, a, a little while back, Code of the Friend, he commented on one of your posts. I know, yeah, yeah. It's really cool. It was really cool. I'm, I'm, I love Coda. He's super cool. Yeah, he, he's he, very cool. He gives a lot of great vibes and... Yeah. Um, uh, just you know, just throwing it out there. Hey, she's got a little bit of clout. She's she's here. You know what I'm saying? And Thank I, you. it's my right. pleasure to yeah, interview yeah. you. <laughs> um, yeah, it's my pleasure to be here. Honestly, yeah, yeah for it. real. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, um, for real, for real. So it's such a beautiful energy. Thank you. Yeah. Are we. It's uh, this has been a lot of work. Yeah, this place used I to bet. be super dark, gloomy, and very depressing. You see this like marking on the wall? Yeah. It used to be yeah, a yeah. wall. This used Ooh, to be a room. Oh no! Oh no! So the kitchen was like this dark, dreary, Darkness. like yeah. super depressing place, and we had another roommate. It was four people, and she. Oh, wow. She, I don't know. She's definitely not listening to this. <laughs> Let him know. <laughs> she wasn't the best person to live with, and to be fair, we weren't either. We didn't really have a relationship. Mm. We didn't like build anything. We didn't try to fix much. Um, but it was like a really dark energy. Um, oh, that sucks. Wow. And then once we were able to like kind of build what we wanted, we tore that down, made this place like w- everything that we wanted it to be, and now mm. it's here. So it's stunning, it's, and you can really feel it. Uh, yeah. I, it make it means a lot that that energy is here now. Uh-huh. So it makes a big a lot difference of work. in your life, you know. Yeah, Huge and difference. I feel you, man, on the energy thing. I oh live at an art collective too, with like a bunch. Yes, of Yes, I was gonna ask about unruly people. collective. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it it like changes your day to day mm. how the space is and who yes. you're around for T- sure. yeah, yeah tell me about unruly i would love to um, hear more about definitely that. yeah yeah i've been part of them basically since i moved here like maybe um literally yeah right after i moved here like 2018 nice. i joined as a member mm. um but i was living like down the block um at an apartment so i didn't live there yet i just was kind of in and okay. out for events um and they were always super supportive of my work as nice. an artist they're just like very as a whole, everyone there is very accepting and like mm. um, motivating and like good, just good for begetting artists who need a lot of like, you're doing great. Like, yes. keep it going, you know? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they provided a lot of that for me. Mm-hmm. I ended up moving in in 2019. Um, and I've been there ever since, which is crazy. Wow. I feel like I'm getting old here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, trust me. I, came, I came, I think I came around the same time that you did, actually. Um, mm. And I was like 22 um uh-huh. 22 23 so i feel that getting old here is like yeah, it's already it's a real <laughs> thing it'll age up <laughs> it's 
<laughs> it's so wild. <laughs> but I love that's, it. I that's mean, really cool, though. That's yeah. really cool. So they, wait, so you moved in with them as in, like, they have a space that they... Yes. Yeah, how does that... Th- so that's it's really like, cool. It's like a house. Um, I, I don't know. I don't want to call it a brownstone, but it's kind of like a brownstone. There's okay. a basement yeah, yeah, yeah. and a backyard. Nice. Okay. And then the main floor, it's like a gallery. Um, and the downstairs has recording stuff set up. There's oh a stage so you can do like shows and same in the backyard. Um, and then most of us live upstairs. Wow. Um, which is super fun. We have a literal zoo. There are like two cats and oh two God. dogs and oh my goodness. yeah, just lots of, lots of people, lots yeah. of animals running around. Um, what a life it's yeah it's really beautiful (laughs) and they're like my ride or die you know we're all on like the same page with i'm sure how you feel with people here like Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you're trying to do the same thing you know so it's good to like stick together in that and also find balance like i'm gonna go (laughs) house sit at the end of this month and um take a little break for 10 days of course oh so important oh my gosh yeah yeah you feel me Uh i need it yeah, yeah. Good. that's so that's so great um i'm glad you have a space like that that's yeah, so too. important as an artist and i think it feeds your art so deeply as well um mm-hmm. shout out to them yo shout out to them yeah yeah that's especially really cool. um anton he's one of anton. like my closest friends in the collective um and his art is amazing mm. anton Witkowski, um and he does like abstract stuff where it's interesting though because we're very different as painters yeah. mm-hmm. um like he'll paint all literally all night he wakes up at like three or four and goes to bed at like eight or nine in the morning um and he'll paint all night and like literally every day like gotta gotta be painting where i'm more so like take my time and like paint throughout the day Mm -hmm. um it's cool to have like different energies that's that's beautiful yeah um so this actually leads us um pretty directly into the next portion which is the final portion of the show Mm. um we're gonna ask you questions from our patreon so on patreon we made a post that you're gonna be on the show Mm. really nice using that photo beautiful photo Mm, um and uh one of the tier benefits is that you get to ask they get to ask questions to the artist that's on the show um so we have a few questions for you oh thank you um first one being Mm. uh, we talked a little bit about already the first half of the question but i guess the second part which is a question from christine um Mm. how is it impacted you as an artist to be a part of the unruly collective Mm. Mm, that's a great question Mm -hmm. um i think the biggest thing for me uh has been the feeling of support Mm -hmm. um knowing Mm -hmm. that like if there's something that i desire i don't have to go at it alone Mm -hmm. um also huge shout out to to hillary in that she's the owner of the collective um and that's been really impactful uh relationship for me to see this woman especially um Mm. own like a a house and come from like a very different background than what she's doing now and just like make it uh something really spectacular so just the force of inspiration around me that like pushes Mm. me to keep going but also know like i can relax in it and Mm. feel supported by the folks there so 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 important it's essential yeah totally and like i want to create more of that like that Mm. is um as i think about my vision as an artist like creating more spaces and um, more opportunities for people to, to connect through that is just mm-hmm. so luscious and needed. Mm-hmm. Mm. So exciting. Mm-hmm. So glad you have that. <laughs> um, so the next question is from Danny, um, who was, he's, she's our so- social media manager mm. and uh, she was at the event as well. She loves you. She said, the first thing is I love her. Oh, um, love you. And then her question is, um, where do you find uh where do you go to find inspiration when you have a block creatively Mm. um oh that's a great question sometimes i i don't go to find it i like take my time Mm. but also i um have gotten to this place where after like painting for so long um i like now have kind of a stack of ideas that i want to create nice yes um like things that i have on the back burner that i just Mm -hmm. like i'm dying to get out there so like I always recommend people if you have ideas to collect them yes. and then once you're ready Ooh. to make a piece, you have like kind of a treasure, treasure chest yes, of exactly. things to explore. Yes. Yeah. I have an ideal journal that's in my notes in my, on my phone. And at any time I, even if it's like a sentence mm-hmm. of like a really solid, like concept even like, or like a th- maybe it could be even just a thought that I could build off of. And I, we write it in there. And mm. it's really nice to go back to that. Cause then you, for, mm-hmm. you, you forget ideas like, you totally. if you don't write it down here it's gonna it's gone out yeah. of your brain unless it's like something that's really really good yeah um, even the ones that are really shit like it's good yeah, to get them <laughs> exactly because <out>. <laughs> then that that could change you know in the future like yes. it could be really shut down and then be so dramatic and like um 
and so uh, profound later on in your life mm-hmm. so. totally yeah. yeah yeah one of my favorite artists um jamie and giuliano bolani mm-hmm. i'm like obsessed with her she does um she creates crates like um bins of ideas yeah. from each year mm-hmm. and like just overflowing with like paper oh, and like different shit that you'll just like write down um and so, it's nice so to be cool. able to go through also tangibly and mm-hmm. look at things I love and especially have, like, when journal. you're in a when you're in a block too and you need yeah. to create something just like let me go through my documents totally. <laughs> you know you have so much to work with that's from your own brain your own mind mm. it's not disconnected from you you don't have to find it anywhere else it's like mm. it's you it's yours you that's know that's a good point too yeah because we can be super oversaturated by ideas from mm-hmm. other others super, super which i'm kind of even like playing into m- nowadays with projection because mm. we're so saturated with ideas yes. like might as well just layer them yes there's exactly. an abundance yeah there's always ways it's to a beautiful thing that. yeah it's a beautiful uh-huh. thing um yeah it's awesome also Throughout this podcast, there is, she's thrown out a ton of names that are great resources for mm-hmm. anything that you're looking for. So write those names down. Look for those people, all the artists that you're, you've Hell been yeah, shouting definitely. out and stuff. Mm-hmm. Do it. Cause, um, They're really great. Yes, I'm mm-hmm. sure they, and I'm sure they are. Mm-hmm. Um, Anthony has the next few questions. He actually has multiple questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the first piece of art that you remember creating? Hmm. Um, I remember super vividly mm, Yes. <laughs> when I, uh, this is kind of embarrassing, but I'm gonna go oh ahead no. and tell the story. I can't wait. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I fell in love for the first time when oh. I was in high school and, um, me and this person broke up mm. and I created a painting like literally <gasps> that night. Um, it was super small. It didn't have anything to do with the relationship. It was just like colorful. Mm-hmm. Um, but like just this, um, like kind of empty space was filled with um with art making and mm-hmm. i remember bringing this like it was a, a super tiny like maybe two or three inch by three inch piece of oh. um like kind of starry night like blue lots oh, of blue yeah. lots of okay, yellow okay. and i brought it out um and i was like hey i made this and my dad was like oh that's like really good mm-hmm. i'll never forget i don't know why it was important <laughs> to me <laughs> it was like, it's so good and it was literally not like i look back at the piece and I'm like, it's, yeah it's no big deal um but little things like that like mm. i said when you're making like your first couple pieces mm. it's great to have people who are like yeah yeah, yeah keep it going that's so beautiful mm. i love that that's so vivid too that's so cool um <laughs> next question mm-hmm. is um so you've already shouted out a few of these people but he says like do you do you have an artist that you love and that you need everybody to know about yeah and their art and stuff so mm. if you want to shout them out even if it's like their instagrams and stuff whatever you oh, want oh i love that yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely I'm, I'm going right back to jamie and for sure nice. yeah i just went to a show of hers um she opened up a gallery of mm-hmm. flaherty's really good gallery mm. Um, impossible to pronounce the name <laughs> on purpose. Um, and yeah, she, her work is, uh, really good because she's not trying to make things that are, um, good mm. things that like appeal to fine art. She's more so just trying to get you to have an experience to create mm. work. That's going to like shake you mm. either make you laugh or like make you be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Which I like that. Like I we need that. some it's life, yes. some fucking lifeblood. Yeah. Yeah. So her, yes. yeah. Jamie and Giuliano Bolani. Jamie and Giuliano Villani. Yeah, mouthful. Awesome name, mm. though. That's a really cool name. <laughs> Can't <go> well, yeah. <laughs> um, and you kind of answered this throughout the podcast, but you talked about dancing and stuff. Are there any other forms of art that you tap into on mm. the regular, like occasionally? Or? Yeah, um, I, dancing. That's mm-hmm. a good mm-hmm. yeah point. That's probably the biggest one. Mm. Um, writing. I've been writing is slowly coming back for me. Mm. Um, I mean, I like to flirt with all of them mm-hmm. singing like gently <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> sometimes I, uh, yeah, I have a, a friend who likes to sing a lot and it's like kind of been pulling that out of me. Um, Beautiful. but yeah, mainly dancing because painting can be, it's dancing is like the opposite, you know, like painting is so mm. isolated and still and dancing mm. is like in, in unison with others and like full of movement. And it's really important for me to move things through the body. So highly recommend a dance break (laughs) every once in a while (laughs) beautiful i love that thank you yeah awesome um let me see yeah that that was the last question for today beautiful great um so thank you to our patrons for asking questions um to jessica and um we're gonna end the podcast with this final little statement that you will have what i'm asking from you okay okay Mm -hmm. is what's happening next for you Mm -hmm. this podcast is coming out next week um 
it comes out next week. So like anything after next week, is there anything that we can look forward to? Any mm-hmm. art that you're creating next? Anything that we might be able to support you in? Mm-hmm. Um, and then after that, give us a little bit of, uh, try to, if you have any words of wisdom to, part, to, to impart to us, um, it could be about how you're feeling or how you're feeling about the world or just, any, it could be even as, as um, specific as, it could be whatever you want. So basically, okay, the only two okay. things. Okay. Yeah. Great, great, great. Take your time. Mm-hmm. Go for it. All right. Um, yeah, um, projects coming up for me. I'm probably um, going to be releasing this very large painting that I've been working on <laughs> since nice. last summer. It's nice. coming. It's since almost last done. summer. Oh yeah, my yeah. gosh, crazy, that's fucking awesome. insane. <laughs> Need to like so cool. Yeah, get that one out. Get so, it out. Yeah, that's coming. Nice. Um, yeah, it's probably literally going to be like the best painting, in my opinion, that I've made like oh, ever. That's so, so exciting. exciting. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Hopefully, going to get it framed. Let's go um, and like do some wood carving in the frame, which yeah. will be a new like medium for me to explore so i'm super excited that's so fun you're gonna bring it to galleries and stuff yeah yeah hopefully Mm -hmm. let's do it if you need any help yeah let's do it i'm 100 percent here for it we could do it we'll talk let's do it okay (laughs) (laughs) um and then i'm uh, i'm really i am excited this is the first time i've talked about this Mm. but i'm gonna be releasing a clothing collection um for spring i'm just gonna release some some jackets and some denim um so if you want like wearable art you can definitely check out my my instagram my website whatnot um yeah words of wisdom i said this on the last one i'm I'm gonna like bring it back (laughs) everything is perfect and you can't make any mistakes yeah that's about it yeah (laughs) that's beautiful thank you so much for bringing it back for Mm -hmm. the for the for us again to remind us Mm -hmm. okay Mm -hmm. um again yeah thank you so much for being here thank you it's an honor it's a privilege me too for sure this is such a beautiful this has been jessica swindle everyone thank you